Page 20, Anan Polka. It's a polka. It's a dance. Oh, okay. 2-4 time, no sharps or flats. We're in the key of C major. Make sure you can do the C major scale and the A minor scale. Two octaves up and down. Know those scales. Let's check this out. One hand at a time, make sure we got the fingering and everything. I got some suggestions on fingering here. It's one and two, or one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a. Yuck. I just go one and two and. I know there's sixteenth notes in there. One and two and. And I recommend a second finger on that second major because we're doing here on that. And anywhere else in here, I get this pattern on finger the same way. So again. And here you, because I want the thumb on the grace note. I'll come, I'm leaving the grace note out right now. So it's here, the, here, second line. One, two, here. Now this part. Now this is a sequence coming down. And then here. It's, a, it's not here, it's here. So it's two, two. Now you can do a one. One four here to so it's a one three on on that one so they threw your curve there on the you expect it you expect the grace note to go down because the upper note's going down and it doesn't it goes here so watch out on that tricky then the next line same as the first line and the last line is similar to the second. Uh, you know, And then come down two. So it's here two. Okay. Page 21, just one five, one four, one three. Here. Now you can do one four here, one three, and one two again if you want, but then for the sixteenth note on the third finger on a and again. Here I do a one three and then a four and a three two one there two e and a two. Then the next two lines is similar to that. Left hand while well, you're finger pedaling the bass note. Connect it if you can. I use the fourth finger on that last one and then come up five second line four. Page 21. So I'm finger pedaling some of this it causes a problem, but I'll come back to the problem later. And so forth. Put the hands together slowly. We're here. Now remember when we first put the hands together, we're just trying to get an idea of which fingers and which hands are playing the notes at the same time. And it's here. Here. Remember to hold the uh, down. through and put the hands together. I don't feel I need to show you this. You work on it and then you go back through it and you get rid of the hesitations. So the beat is a steady. You go slow. But it has to be steady. No hesitations anywhere. And once you can do that, then we go back and put in the articulation and the ornamentation of the grace notes. This short staccatos. And again, I'm on it and I'm bouncing off. I just got one, I'm anchoring, sort of anchoring on one finger and I'm kind of this on it. Feels weird at first. This staccato. Don't accent it. We tend to want to accent when we when we come up bottom. We want to don't. The accent's on the it's on the beat. It's 
So there. Staccato. And then the second line, this grace note, real quick note. It's not done rhythmically, it's done quickly. I don't care if you do it on the beat or before the beat, because people don't agree on it. If you do it before the beat, then these notes come together. If you do it on the beat, then it comes with that. It's up to you what you do, but just make it a quick note. In the second measure, the second line, I tend, they want you to use second finger on it because you're in this position. Because you use thumb on the first, they want you to second finger. I just use second finger there. I'd prefer not to use second finger again, so I'm going to use thumb. I can bring the thumb under, so it's, I'm going to use thumb on both of those. And then here, that's tricky. Well, you work that out at your speed, not mine. It's page 21. And this is the problem. This is sort of a moderately soft, left hand is soft, and we get this, and that stands out. Blech. You got to make an effort to play that very, very soft. That's what we want to hear, and this has to stay in the background, so don't go. And it'll do it naturally if you're not careful, so make it very soft. Sort of. So you go through and put the hands together, take it really, really super slow so until you can get all these accents and grace notes all worked out. No hesitations anywhere. And then you can think about speeding it up later. Dynamic wise, it goes to the right hand melody. Moderately soft. Whatever you think sort of soft is. The left hand should be soft or very soft. And into the second line you go up to loud. Accent. Forget the accent at the end, just play it as forzando. You don't need both. Top of page 21, you, again, you're moderately soft. The left hand's very soft. And you go up to loud. But accents really makes them very loud. I don't know that you need accents on them. You're loud, just play them loud and staccato. Then soft again, or moderately soft. There's a DC Alfini at the bottom of page 21. So when you get done there, the DC sends you back to the beginning. The Fini is at the bottom of page 20. And they put a thin and thick bar line there, which they should. That's the symbol for it. So you can just go back and play page 20 again. They're telling you speed is rather delicately. That's the mood. But a lot of times when they, for the, where they're supposed to tell you how fast, instead of that, they tell you the mood of the piece, and from that you get an idea. Well, it's a polka, it's a dance, so it's a... It's kind of a fun dance. It's not something at a funeral, so that, but it's got to be accurate. So you got to take it at your rather delicately. Just keep it on the light side for the most part. Even when you get to the loud parts, you don't have to really blur them out real loud. Tone them down a little bit, and... That kind of, a delicate loud, I guess, is what we're after. Whatever that means, I don't know. 